to all the boys and girls from Lafayette Estate School 25. You're finishing up your first grade and you're celebrating today the fact that you have all learned to read during the first grade, which we all know is very, very important. So your teachers and your principal asked me to read the summer Nick taught his cats to read. So I will read that to you now. Nick had two cats, Vern and Stevenson. They spent summer doing everything together. But when Nick sat down with a book, the cats had their own ideas. So Nick decided to teach them to read. He started with easy words. Ball, said Nick, B-A-L-L. -L. But the cats just wanted to play. At lunchtime, Nick pointed to the word food. The cats ignored him. Wake up, said Nick after they fell asleep. This is no time for a NAP nap. His cats did not like that at all. So Nick made new flashcards and Vern got interested, but not Stevenson. Stevenson just said burp and crawled under the bed. Nick tried nursery rhymes next. When he read Three Little Kittens, Vern searched everywhere for mittens, but not Stevenson. Then Nick read his favorite books to Vern who liked stories about cats and stories about fish. Vern loved fish. He followed along as Nick read, learning the sounds of the letters. Vern practiced on his own over and over, even after Nick went to bed. Soon he was reading new stories all by himself. The next morning, Nick tried once more. F-I-S-H, C, fish. Vern loves that word, don't you? But Stevenson said meow and ran under the porch. He hissed at Nick and Vern. Vern got his own library card and borrowed so many books that Nick could hardly carry them home. When they discovered a story they both liked, they acted out their favorite scenes. They dug up fish fossils in the flower bed. They bounced across the surface of the moon. It was fun, but it would have been more fun with Stevenson. Then Vern discovered a treasure under the bed, a great stack of Stevenson's pirate drawings. Wow, Nick whispered, Stevenson drew a story. We should write the words, said Nick. Vern helped. When they were done, they squeezed under the porch, gave Stevenson an eye patch, and read the tale of one-eyed Stevenson and the pirate gold. Stevenson listened and followed along. He didn't run away or hiss, not even once. The next morning when Nick woke up, Stevenson already had his whiskers in a book. When Vern and Nick needed help fighting pirates, Stevenson found a sword too. Welcome aboard, matey, Nick yelled, step lively. Nick and Vern rounded up two scurvy mutineers and Stevenson held them at bay. Then Nick and Vern climbed the mast and looked out over the treasure island. When Nick yelled, land ho, Stevenson was right there with him. Then they all hurried down and wandered ashore, and it was Stevenson who found the buried treasure. Boy, this sounds like fun. Now Nick and his cats hunt for dinosaurs in the lost world behind the garden. They race around the yard in 80 seconds. They journey to the center of the basement. Sometimes Vern and Stevenson curl up with their own books, and sometimes Nick reads to them while they close their eyes and purr. But Nick also likes it when someone reads to him. Maybe I should teach you how to speak, he says to his cats. How hard could that be? Meow, says Stevenson. So that's the book, The Summer Nick Taught His Cats to Read. It's an interesting book. Of course, we know cats don't talk or read, but it's first grade, it's make-believe, so it's okay. So now I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. The summer's coming up and you're gonna be home for, well, you've been home for a long time already, but you're gonna have about 10 or 11 weeks off and you can do anything you want and read anything you want, more importantly. So when you're in school, you read what the teachers tell you to read. When you're in the summer or when you are in your own time, you can read whatever you want. So if you like books about sports or dolls or horses or poetry or trains, whatever you like, you can read. So you can always go to the library if it's open. We don't know yet. Even if it's not open, though, 
your parents can log on to woodbridgelibrary.org, O-R-G, and they can get you a library card online, and you can look through their computer or even their phone, and you can find books you'd like to read, and you can check them out, and they'll come to your phone or they'll come to your computer. And they even have e-books and audio books, and bo audio books means that the book is read to you, which is also pretty cool. So just because uh, of the pandemic and just because things are a little strange right now doesn't mean you can't find time to read. And like I said, after June 10th, you can read whatever you want. So I hope you do because you have to keep reading. Now that you're reading at a first grade level, you got to get to the second grade level quick and then the third grade level, you got to keep advancing yourself and keep getting better at reading because no matter what job you have the rest of your life, you're going to have to know how to read and you're going to have to know how to write. So I hope you all have a great summer. I want to congratulate Principal Bronsdorf and all your first grade teachers on you being here because you wouldn't be here without them and you wouldn't be here without your parents. So congratulations, first graders from Lafayette State School 25. Have a great summer. And maybe I can see you in September and read to you all in person when you're in the second grade. Thank you.